Alright, before we start this video, I just want to say that I may sound a little bit different in this video. I don't sound too upbeat, if that's a way to describe it. I sound a little bit soft or slow, I don't know. Well, that's because this is actually an old video I filmed but never uploaded. For those who have been around for over a year, you would have known how I sounded back then. For the new viewers, bear with me in this video. <laughs> I still have some I haven't uploaded but that will be in the future. Oh boy, we've got a new package and I quite like how this sender packed this package with the Chinese or Japanese wording newspaper. I'm not really sure. Just gonna peel it off and... A very, very nice box as well. Usually when I get boxes, they're all beaten up, but this box looks pretty new, so yeah. So that's the last piece of the newspaper wrapping. Now we're gonna have to open this box and, well. And this should be the last cut. Now, let us reveal what animal is in here. Well, you guys probably already know from the thumbnail what am I talking about. So let's take a look. So there are two tarantulas in here, two containers. So I got the first one and the second one. Anything else in the box. Err, uh, very bad box flipping skills today. But anyways, there are two tarantulas here. One is mine, one is my friend's. So we'll rehouse mine today and I'll, I'll go past my friend's later. By the way, these two are confirmed females. So that's a good thing. And I got them at quite a decent price. Wow, kitchen foil. Interesting. This is the first time I'm seeing someone pack like this. Oops. Here is the other one. Now I'll have to open this, obviously. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get the tea out. So there is very damp news... Not newspaper. Um, paper towels all around the outside of the container. I mean, look at that. It's wrapped in paper towel and kitchen foil outside. Very interesting way to pack a tea. I've never seen anyone do this method before. Hopefully the tea is okay. Oh, I see legs. I see legs over there. Hi, you are gorgeous. We'll show the people once we open the other one and set up your enclosure. Let's get this one opened as quick as possible. I'm just gonna cut the video, so. Where is this one? Okay, we see legs down there. Let me lift this tissue up and it should be... I'm not sure how clear you guys can see her, but damn, she is a beauty. A little bit on the skinny side though, but yeah, let's go make the enclosure. The good thing is both of them are alive and well. That was the part I was a little bit worried about. Okay, so you guys know how I house some of my arboreal tarantulas. Well, my AVIX are housed like this in these acrylic enclosures. I've gotten questions where I got these enclosures. Well, I got them from a friend of mine that quit the hobby. So when I bought his avicularias, they came together with the enclosure. So yeah. Now this one is my Singapore Blues enclosure. It's just a two feet tank. Two feet by one feet by one feet, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of forgot the dimensions. I set up this enclosure with a cow skull and I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> but today we're going to be setting up the enclosure for these two teas. Well, well, one tea. I mean the other. We're going to be setting up this enclosure a little bit different than what we usually do. So I've got, actually I found this jawbone. I'm not really sure what it is. I mean what animal it's from. I think it's some kind of wild boar or a pig. I'm not exactly sure. So we're going to use that in the enclosure. Now, I was saying that this enclosure is going to be set up differently because I mean, you just saw how my current enclosures are set up. This enclosure, you see this lid? It's actually supposed to be like this. But what we're gonna be doing is, let me get this out first. Now the two teeth that I just got, they are arboreals, meaning they live up in the trees. Well, they're semi-arboreal. My previous one, which was a male that matured out, sadly. Yeah, I was really disappointed with that. Because as you can see, it's a very, very beautiful tarantula and it just matured out, it hooked out and <sighs> I was really down that day. But yeah, I came across these two females and well, we're gonna set up the enclosure for them now. I'm so glad I came across a female. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna 
put it upright like this so they have floor space as well as height and then wait let me close this first i'll show you how this is going to work so we're going to stand it up like this because down here is like a blocking where I can put the substrate that way the substrate won't fall out and then when I want to feed the tarantula I just open this and toss in food this will be my first time doing this so let's see how it works out now I'm gonna have to make sure it's closed properly otherwise the substrate which is over here is just gonna fall out all over the place so now I'm gonna pour in the substrate a bit more bit more <laughs> and even more <laughs> yeah you can't have too much substrate for tarantulas guys they just love substrate and then you just pack it down I think that is enough what you guys think yeah I mean come on it's already enough look at the lid it's already up there we're gonna get the jawbone and just I don't know position it something like that. I think it gives the enclosure a little bit of character, like a lot of character. It looks so cool. Really, bird? Why? Every time when I'm filming. Anyways, let's get back on topic. I've got some leaf litter. Just gonna grab a bunch like this and just toss it in. I mean, look at that, guys. Leaf litter with a bird. Dude, seriously, can you just like let me film in peace? There goes the decor. Well, of course, we have the um, Exoterra's forest moss, so I'll just sprinkle that in. These things smell like seaweed, and I love eating seaweed. No, I'm not gonna be eating these. Just a little bit more. No, this doesn't look good. It has to be on the ground. So, so yeah, I think that looks... Oh yeah, if you're concerned about the air, well, isn't obvious when you close this, there's air on the front, yeah. <sighs> you know, sometimes I question myself. I mean, you guys already seen this and I'm still, never mind. Okay, we'll go get the tea now. Before we put the tea in its enclosure, I wanna see how beautiful this one is. All right, come your box. Sorry, I threw you earlier. So I'm gonna get the tea out. Hopefully it doesn't bolt. This is a new world, by the way, so I'm not really worried about it bolting. Even if it bolts, I'm probably gonna be able to capture it back because these guys aren't too quick. Oh man, she pooped in there. Look at that. Why am I even using this? I can just lift up this paper towel. I am such a genius. Look at this tarantula. It's such a cool looking tarantula. It has like a green head, a green carapace, and then its rump is a bright pink color. This tarantula isn't too common where I'm at, and well, I came across two females, I just had to grab them. Well, one is for my friend, of course, but I had to get one for myself because my previous one, like you just saw, became a mature male. Really bummed about that. And well, look at this girl. These guys do actually kick hairs. My male kicked a lot of hairs and it was not fun. Man, I love this tea. I say that for all teas, but I mean, this guy, I mean, girl, my goodness. This is so cool. Let me do a quick Google on what their common name is. So they're called the Peruvian Orange Rump or Peruvian Flame Rump. I think I like the word flame better than orange. And that rump, by the way, if you guys don't know what rump is, it is the butt of the tarantula, the abdomen. I think it looks more like a flame rather than an orange. Do you not agree with me? I'm pretty sure she had a rough trip arriving here. Let's grab her enclosure and put her in. She is really, really stubborn, guys, as you can see. So I think I will just leave her. I mean, she will get off the tissue and walk around eventually. But yeah, don't want to stress her out anymore. So there is our new addition. Beautiful, beautiful tarantula. You guys must agree. Even if you guys don't agree, I'm pretty sure you guys agree. <laughs> Now, the only thing missing in this enclosure is the water dish. I'm pretty sure you guys are like, where's the water dish? Yeah, I'll add that later. Look at the mess. I'm always so messy after unboxings. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you can, I mean, you're free. I, I can't stop you. You can thumbs it down, I guess. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on that little post notification bell. As I said earlier, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.
So this is just her after a couple hours. She finally got off the tissue, which is awesome. Now we can see her up close. Sorry if this isn't very clear because I think I was using my iPhone 5S to record this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed regardless and I hope you bear with me.